Have you ever had a high point in your life where you felt that your life was going exactly the way that you thought it was going to be? And then reality set in and you realize that happily ever after was much harder than you thought that it would be. About nine months after I got married, this is where I was. My life was great. I was married to a man that I loved. Um, he was going to BYU, so we were living in married housing. I had just gotten a job in a salon. Life was great. But it was our first year of marriage, so things started to happen. We lived in a tiny little apartment that just got so dirty so fast. And so the dishes would pile up, and the laundry would pile up. And the longer that this was going on the more annoyed I would get and the more upset that I would get. And I just would build up. And then I started to notice other things about my husband that just drove me crazy. And I was not sure that I was a fan of. And I noticed that he wouldn't listen to me all the time. When we were talking, he would be like reading a newspaper or whatever, things like that. And so it just hit. And I snaps and I laid it out on him and I told him exactly what I thought and all the ways that he had failed me and that he my life was not how I was imagining it was gonna be that marriage was not the way that I thought it was gonna be and he just listened to me very gently and patiently and when I was finished he looked at me and said, Lydia, I'm sorry, but I'm not perfect. And when he said those words to me, I, it took me back a little bit, you know, it took me back. And I thought back to a talk that was given by Julie B. Beck in 2007. Um, and she had quite a few points in there, but a couple of them was everybody makes mistakes and another one was that we all can change. And so when I was thinking about what he said and all the things that I had laid into him about, I realized I could have just done those dishes and I could have just done the laundry and I could have been more attentive when he was talking to me. Sometimes I was a on social media, you know, browsing through and not totally paying attention to everything that he was saying. So this experience really taught me that I cannot expect anybody else to be perfect when I am not perfect myself. And the only person that I can change is me. Thank you.